I need help. Hello, you have an appointment. No, but I think I'm dying. Oh no, let me go get the nurse. Gonorrhea, gonorrhea, sex is more fun than the pillow fight. All we need is a simple blood test to diagnose this issue. All right, so what color do you think the discharge was? It's, a, it's kind of a yellowish, clearish ooze. Oh, no. I see, and you said there was burning. Yeah, it, it's on fire. Oh, oh my. Um, well, I'll get the doctor in here. All right, he'll be right in here. Oh, well, just make sure he hurry, please. Hurry! I'm not really sure, but we're pretty sure you got AIDS. You mean gonorrhea? What did I say? AIDS. I said gonorrhea. Gonorrhea. You're gonorrhea. You have gonorrhea. How do you How do you know I have gonorrhea? Well, girls don't really know. All they'll get, maybe, maybe, is maybe a little bit of greenish discharge, just slight bleeding in between menstrual periods. You're a lucky guy. You're lucky to be a guy. Nothing against you, but guys will have white discharge and. <laughs> Let's face it, like you've already experienced, you have burning sensations when you urinate. <laughs> and I don't mean like burning emotionally, I mean like burning physically. Good thing that you did come to us. You could have died if you didn't, you know. No, you lying to you. You couldn't have died. Well, you might have died. It won't be fun. You'll have swelling in your testicles and in your penis. It's what they call it, clap, because they clap it, and the liquid comes out. And then, uh, females suffer from pelvic inflammatory disease. But you wouldn't have to really worry about that. Okay. And then most guys and girls can get arthritis and skin problems. And other organic diseases caused by sweating on a in your body. Lots of ways. Basic way, I guess. Unprotected sex. Have you been having unprotected sex recently? What do you mean, recently? Well, between the past two, two to seven days, about a week, basically. If you've had unprotected sex with anyone, it's a good chance that they gave it to you. What's worse if you've done more than one? You might have done a few others. <laughs> well, problem is, because necessity Listeria gonorrhea, or just gonorrhea, is a bacterial infection. Having intercourse would really actually promote spreading it. Uh, keep talking. I'm getting buzzed real quickly. <coughs> so, pretty much, if you've had sex Poor in God. the last two to seven days, it's very likely that that's how you contract it. Well, we can still get rid of the problem. We just have to order a few for a few drugs. What? Drugs. Yeah. <laughs> Go back to the virus. Oh yeah, they can be administered through either a pill form or an injection. An injection? An injection, yes. Yeah. So let me just write up this prescription for you. Alright, so the doctor prescribed either oxygen or sulfacine. And that can be given, as I said, in a pill or an injection format. How would you like that? Uh, the pill. The pill? The pill. Hmm. All right. And, um, also, don't forget to use this next time. I, it's, it's, let's just face it, you can avoid this whole situation. Oh, well, thank you. No problem. Is this, is this a hint? No. I'm Kevin Steiniger, and as the big doctor, it is my duty to tell you all the wonders of a condom. Condoms are very important and can save lives. They help protect you from STDs. They help you from giving birth. What's important? I'm a doctor. I can prove this message. Well, we're finishing the project, so okay. I got some bad news. We can't have sex anymore. And that reminds me. Alright. You might have gonorrhea. What? 
Look, I'm the doctor. Yeah, I'm coming. You said it twice. I didn't mean to! What? My penis burns! My penis burns! No, 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 you don't do it like that. You gotta have more robust, like this. My penis burns! My penis burns! <laughs> My penis burns! My penis burns! My penis burns. My penis burns. Whatever way you <laughs> <laughs> Walk away.